Okay, this is a quick video to talk about how we clean up some of the packing material here. There's a number of different ways to do this. Um, this is by no means the only way. It may not even be the best way. Um, this is how I do it. If anybody has any suggestions on a better way to do this, uh, please contact me. I am all ears. Um, so what I will do in this instance, there's all this packing material there that sometimes you can threshold out and sometimes not. Um, for the sake of argument, I will assume that this stuff we cannot threshold out right here. Um, what I will do is I'll use a scissors tool and I'll say erase inside. I'll do it free form and slice cut is unlimited, which means that when I draw something here in the 3D view, it will erase everything all the way through as far as I can see. Just to demonstrate that, I'll just draw it around here. Again, a faster CPU is always better. More RAM is always better. And then as you can see, I'll go back to here so I can rotate around. It has cut out everything that I can see through there. So using a combination of rotating around and scaling in and so on and so forth, I will basically very carefully and sometimes quite laboriously clean out anything in here that I do not want. If anybody has ever done fossil prep, um, this is very similar to that kind of operation. You're sort of removing things that you don't want. Um, you have to be kind of careful to not remove things that you do want. Um, handy shortcut, space goes between, uh, uh, switches between the last two used tools. Um, and Z is useful, it's undo. Um, and sometimes you can cut things away that you didn't really mean to cut away, so you have to back up and then go forward again. Um, but that is basically the operation that I use to clean away all of this packing material here. Um, just for the sake of argument, I'm going to leave a lot of this stuff here so I can demonstrate um, getting the uh, uh, trachea segmented in the next video. But uh, this is kind of the operation that I use to do this. Sometimes I will try and look down the length of the insect so I can kind of get as many slices as possible and cut out as much as I can. So it just takes a little bit of practice um, to figure out what are the best ways to do this with your specimen. Now another way to do it, as I've said, there's almost always more than one way to do things in Slicer, um, is you can go through here and use the erase tool. Here it is. You can use a sphere brush, kind of go in here and erase some of this by hand. In the 3D view you can kind of see where you are erasing, which is handy. Um, although having things show in the 3D view for very complicated models can slow things down tremendously. Um, I'll show you in a second. If you just turn off 3D view and then I erase in here, it is a lot faster. However, um, you can't necessarily see what you're doing all the time. One thing that's very useful to be able to see what you're doing here is turn on slice intersections, hold down the shift key, and you move the mouse around. You can see in all views where you are and you can kind of see I'm erasing in here I'm erasing in here so on so this can be a really easy way if a bit time consuming to get rid of things that you don't necessarily want to have in there um, the magic thing is if you could find some way of scanning a specimen that would hold it in place without any packing material that is x-ray absorbent. Um, that would be excellent if anybody has any ideas um, for doing that kind of thing. Again, I'm all ears. Um, very, very low density, you know, foam kinds of things could be very useful. Um, aerogel has been posited as one possible thing because it is very, very low density. Uh, possibly embed an insect in aerogel and then CT scan it. Um, these are things that we've talked about over the years but never really had a chance to do. So um, this is, you know, while time consuming, uh, um, it is relatively straightforward um, and it's a reliable way of doing it. So uh, that's a little bit of cleanup. And then in the next video I'll talk about techniques that I use to actually segment out the trachea from, from the insect itself.